Hey, hi guys! Welcome to today's lesson where I'm going to teach you a little bit about email validation and how you can create a binding text field. So over here we have the iPhone simulator. It's an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Doesn't really matter what simulator you use. And we have a blank view with a text field, alright? And I'm going to type in a random email address like uh, user at example Dot com and you realize that I have a label at the bottom that says email is valid and as I remove uh, some characters over here you notice that it validates the email the moment I type it in alright so uh, I can do something like user hello at gmail.com nothing's gonna happen but if I if I remove this space it shows that email is valid so this it's a very useful example if you are doing a form validation and you need the response to be real-time as the user types then continue watching this video and I think you will definitely find a lot of value in this lesson alright guys thanks for joining me back so here we have a brand new project so I, I really want to show you from the scratch to the end so that you know exactly what's going on so we're going to start this with a single view application and I'm just going to call it uh, maybe email validation example. You can call it whatever you want. Um, user interface, I'm going to use the storyboard because I've not learned how to use Swift UI. So I think, um, yeah, we're good with that for the time being. I'm not going to check use call data, include unit tests or include UI tests. Um, so I'm just going to keep this example very simple. Click the next button. All right, let's just put that wherever you want. I put mine in my desktop. Okay, so we're going to start with the main.storyboard. As you saw in the example, it's, uh, it's a really, really simple uh, UI. So I'm just going to put in a text view. Let's drag that in. Let's have that in the center. And let's also have a label, okay? So, um, yep, let's have the label. And let's put them both in a stack view. I love stack views, don't you? Click on the stack view. Let's put it somewhere in the center and then I'm going to add some auto layout to it. All right, the height, uh, let's have it a hundred maybe. And for the trailing and uh, leading anchor, let's have it 24 to 24. I'm going to just click the add three constraints button here. And I'm going to vertically uh, center it in the container. All right, so yep, still looks kind of weird. Why is that so? Because we have to change the alignment to fill. Okay, now it looks a lot better. The label, let's have it center. And uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just have a slight background color. Let's use this one so that we know it's a label. Let's just remove the text in the label. Oh crap, what just happened? <laughs> it's okay, no worries. Let's click on the stack view again and let's have the distribution to fill equally. All right, cool. So um, I like it to have a slightly bigger font. Let's open the view controller uh, on the right. And the way we are going to do it is to hold on to the Alt key and click on the view controller. And there we have it, it opens a new panel over here and let's create the IB outlets. I'm going to drag that in, I'm going to call this a email text view. Hit the connect button. Let me just close this right panel because we don't need it at this moment. And let's also just bring in this uh, status label. Alright, let's call it a status label. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Okay, the first thing we want to do is that we um, want to create something called a binding text field. So what that means is that every time I type in this um, text field, it's going to um, it's going to uh, make a call, uh, or rather, it's going to um, show me the text that I have inside, and I can validate that immediately. All right. So what I want to do is to create a custom class here. I'm just going to call it a binding text field. And this binding text field is going to be of type UI text view. So I'm creating a custom class called binding text view that inherits the super class, which is UI text view. All right. So let's create a function here called bind. 
okay and in this uh, parenthesis I'm going to put in a completion all right so this is typically how you do the, the completion right and for the value I'm going to put in a string okay so what's next is I'm going to add target to listen to any value change or editing change that's happening in this text field so target will be self the action will be pound selector I'll fill that method later and for this it's going to be editing changed let's create a function okay let's remember that it has to be an objective C function and I'll just call it uh, text view editing changed okay you can call it whatever you want but uh, I think this makes sense and um, uh, in this um, parenthesis I'm going to put in a text view which is of type UI text view okay maybe just make it a little bigger so you can see all right so and then over here I'm just gonna put in the new function that I just created which is text view editing changed okay so right here I'm gonna I want to get the text that's inside this text view so what I need to do I'm gonna use a guard statement to let text equals to text view dot oh I think I like it capital F dot text okay so notice that this is an optional all right <clears throat> and the reason uh, and, and how, how I'm able to make it a non-optional is to use the gut statement so so you know you don't want to deal with like empty spaces or, 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 or uh, you know um, an optional space or an optional text uh, an optional string I mean okay so over here I'm just going to create a block or a closure editing oh, text edited maybe let's just call it text edited okay it's gonna be I'm gonna put in a string right here and I'm gonna make this an optional all right okay so right here I'm gonna say um, text edited because this is an optional I have to put the question mark and I can just pass in the text over here I will do um, text edited equals to completion okay so um, let's see is everything okay oh I forgot about the escaping okay what else I think I wanna put a print statement here as well text oh no 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 let's not do that here <clears throat> okay let me just build this project and now that I'm done with this custom binding text view I'm just going to have this text view to be the binding text view so right here I'm going to pass it I'm going to create this custom class and I'm going to specify this to be the binding text view all right so this is no longer a UI text view but a binding text view okay and before I forget I have to change this over here all right cool so the way we're gonna buy it is um, let's see let's call it setup text view okay whoops private func uh, let's say email text view because we now know that this email text field is of type binding text field it can access these properties within the class all right so we can do dot bind and then he has this completion handler that returns to us a text so let's go ahead and print the tags okay I'm gonna run the project and hopefully it works Okay, so let's open the uh, console as well and I'm gonna start typing hello my friend All right so as you can tell it's binding in the sense whereby every time I type something it's gonna show up alright there's this event that's being triggered 
Okay, so now let's come to the part about the email validation. So what I want to do is that every time I type, I want to validate whether this, uh, whether the text that I have in this text field is a proper email address or not. So what I did was I went to Stack Overflow <laughs> and uh, I found this article, how to validate an email address in Swift. Okay, let's see, yeah. Email validation Swift, you can just follow what I did. <clears throat> okay, so I, wow, look at this solution, 713, must be legit, right? Okay, let's see whether it's Swift 5 compatible. Yes, it is, because I've just tried. <laughs> so let's copy this bad boy. Okay, of course, um, please copy with caution, <laughs> don't copy blindly, <laughs> please test before you put it into production, write unit test if you can. <laughs> okay, let's put it over here. So it's valid email. All right, so this is a function that takes in a string and this function returns a Boolean. So if it's a valid email, it's obviously gonna say true. If it's not, it's gonna say false. So we can tell whether this is a valid email by saying is, val is valid email valid email equals to is valid email okay we don't have to expose this this can be a private function as well all right and uh, i'm just going to pass in the text right here okay so this is going to be a boo if i am to alternate click this oh why is it giving me this problem oh it's because it's the same name um um, is, ve uh, is valid, okay, maybe I'll just call it is valid. All right, so this is of type bool. Okay, the reason I have the error is because both are the same name, so you know, Swift gets confused. So I'll just say that is valid for the time being, you can call it whatever you want. Um, so this returns me a bool and I can say status label, oops, status label dot text of oh, sorry uh, equals to is valid this is called a uh, ternary operation ternary uh, what do you call that ternary check so if it's valid then let's return to us a string says email is valid otherwise let's just return a uh, an empty string is that cool okay what's it complaining about Oh, okay, so over here we have to put in self. And why is that so? It's because we are in a closure. But this could be a little tricky because uh, this can potentially create a retain cycle because uh, number one, we have email text view which is owned by the view controller and we are having a status label that's also owned by the also owned by the um, view controller. So what I'll do is I'm going to use weak self over here and I'm going to do it this way. Hi my wife, you're back. <laughs> okay, cool. How's your day? <laughs> it's good? Okay, cool. So it's valid. Ah, oh, come on, what's this? Oh, okay, this becomes an option. Okay, so I'm just going to do if let then. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to run this. Alright, so right here we have the text view and the label at the bottom. Let's try to type in something. Hello at gmail.com. Email is valid. And when I introduce like some really random characters, notice that it returns an empty string. If I leave like a plus one at gmail.com, it's still good. If I do plus exclamation mark at gmail.com, yep, notice that it is not showing the email is valid. So yes, um, this is how you do it. Okay, guys, if you're still confused with this, let me help you out a little bit. This is the same as um, if is valid, If it's valid, 
even as valid else yep so this is like one two three four five lines which technically you can do it in one line if you want to but of course um, this is going to be a lot more readable I believe to some people but typically you know when your code base is so huge when your code base could be hundreds or thousands of lines <laughs> you might want to opt for something like that instead. All right, guys, so this is a very simple lesson on validating using a binding text view. I hope you found some value and I hope that you're able to uh, understand how I create this uh, custom class and you can implement it in the project that you're doing. All right, guys, see you next time.